Hello Painting with a Purpose friends. Um, I'm going to show you how to do a one point perspective painting today. Um, you can do a lot of different things with a one point perspective drawing um, or painting rather. We are going to do a little fall scene in a pumpkin field. Um, so to get started you're going to need your two inch brush. You will also need a small and medium round brush. The colors you will be needing are two different shades of green. Can you see the difference? Um, two different shades of brown, the sky blue color, white, red, yellow, and orange. Don't forget your cloth and your cup of water. All right let's get started we're gonna start with the sky and when you do a one-point perspective drawing um, you have to have a horizon line so our horizon line is gonna be just above the center of your canvas so right above that center with your two inch brush draw a blue line everything above that line is gonna be blue Alright, you can wipe the blue off of your brush. No need to dip it in water, just kind of wipe it with your cloth. And we're going to add some white wispy clouds. So just dip the tip of your two inch brush in some white and we're just going to add some wispy clouds. And then we're going to just kind of brush over those a little bit. I'm going to make my blue come down just a little bit further. There we go. Alright, we're going to rinse this off really good. Get that blue out of there. And with your lighter green color, we're going to run right up next to this blue. That blue's still wet, so don't get in it. Just run right up next to it, and everything below the blue is going to be green. Alright, with the darker green, you're going to come in there, don't need to wipe that light green off. With that darker green, we're just going to kind of come down. We're just going to add some dark green, but instead of going across like we did with the lighter green, we're going to pull it down at an angle, like it's coming out at you. All right, we are finished with your big two inch brush. So you can go ahead and set that in your water and set that aside. Um, we're gonna let our background dry and then we're gonna move on. Now that our background is dry with your medium round brush and your light green, we're gonna fill in this space between our sky and grass. So just run your medium round and your lighter green right up next to that blue.
you can wipe that green off. And from here, I want you to pick your one point that is going to be where you work from for the rest of your canvas. So you can have it centered, you can have it set off to the side, um, the left or right side. It's completely up to you. I kind of like mine centered. So my one point with my same medium brush and that light brown color, I'm just going to put a little dot right there. That's going to be my one point that I am going to pull from. So the, this is our field. And from that one point, I'm going to draw some diagonal lines from here with that light brown. So my first line is going to come and hit halfway between here and here. So about right here, put a little dot. And then about right here, I'm going to put a little dot. And then my next line is going to come to the corners. So I'll put dots where I want my next line to come to. And then my last two dots are going to be right about there. All right, so now I'm just going to connect the dots. So for my one point, I'm going to draw this light brown line to this side dot. And it does not have to be perfect. It's a field. And then from here, I'm going to go out to this side dot. And then I'm going to come down to the corner. And down to this corner. And then I'm going to come down to these points. just like so. Now I'm going to take my green and kind of brush over this lightly just to kind of fade that brown out. So I didn't wipe my brush. I just added some green and I'm just going to go over with my light green these brown lines just so they're not so harsh. But you still want to be able to see the brown lines. You just don't want them so brown. Those are your field lines, like you are going to plow a field. They have those lines in them. And then I'm going to take a little bit of this light brown and I'm going to add a little bit of light brown. And then I'm going to go back over it with that green. I just want to make the field look kind of dirty. So again, just add a little bit of streaks in between with your light brown. And then go over it with the green. All right, once you have your field the way that you want it, go ahead and rinse off your brush. Wipe it. And we are now going to start on our barn. So from that one point right there, that's going to be the center of our barn. That's exactly where we want our barn doors to hit. So with your medium round brush and your red paint. Now remember, your barn is off in the distance. So we don't want it to be huge. It's far away. We want it to be a little smaller 
than what it would be if we were if the barn was way up here. So you're gonna start just by drawing a square. All right, now we're going to give it kind of a barn roof. You don't have to do a barn roof. You can do a regular roof. It's completely up to you. But a barn roof kind of starts at a slight angle. And then it goes into a point. Now I'm going to take a little bit of that light brown and I'm going to go across here like that's where the roof meets the barn and then I'm just going to kind of outline it a little bit on the roof and I'm going to make it look like wooden planks with this light brown. I'm going to add some of that light brown up here. Alright, now I have my cute little barn. Now we're going to work on our tree in the foreground. So if something is in the foreground, it's going to be closer to you, so it's going to be a lot bigger. So I'm going to do a really big tree because it's going to be really close to me and it's going to be right about here and this is with your dark brown. So I'm going to draw with my skinny brush. This is going to run right off the canvas, the bottom of the canvas. And this is a big old tree because it's really close to me and then I'm just going to add some branches so one of these branches we're just going to start with a Y That kind of looks like the little Y right there. We're going to have another branch that kind of comes up. I'm 
right here, and then another one that will come right here. We'll fill all that in in just a minute. I'm going to go ahead and add a few more branches. You're not really going to see a lot of these branches when we're finished, but we'll add them. fill these in. So with your medium round, let's fill our tree in that same dark brown. We're going to add a little bit of the light brown through here. They look like some bark. Alright, so there is our giant tree in the foreground. Just a smidge of yellow. All right. Let's go ahead and rinse that brown off of that brush. And with your small round brush, let's go ahead and add our barn doors with a dark brown. And then you're just going to come over top of that with a little bit of white. So you're going to kind of outline those barn doors with white. You're going to put a line down the center. You're going to put some X's in those doors. Just like so. So they look like door. I'm going to add a little bit of that dark brown. Kind of down the sides of my barn and that edge where the roof meets the barn. All right, so let's talk about what a tree would look like if it, I'm going to clean up my barn really quick. just don't like this edge. I don't know if I helped it. It's an old rickety barn. Alright, so let's talk about what a tree would look like if it were close to the barn. So if we had a tree that were close to a barn, yes, you probably could have a tree as big as a barn if your barn is really small and your tree is really big. However, we're gonna have a small tree back here. We don't want it to be as big as our barn. So with your small round brush and your dark brown paint, we're just gonna give it a little tree trunk This is going to be, we want it proportioned to 
our barn. We can add a few branches, but I'm really gonna see those. So there is our tree that is gonna be proportionate to our barn. And then along next to our barn, we are gonna have a fence. So we're gonna start by making the fence posts. So you gotta think about this. How tall is your fence compared to the barn? It's probably gonna be about that tall. And you're just gonna add some fence posts. with your dark brown. All the way from the barn to the edge. Now we have to connect it. So it's the bottom one is going to be just above that grass line. It's going to go right across the front of your tree. And that top line is going to come just below the tops of your post. Maybe there's a broken one. Now, with a little bit of yellow, just kind of highlight a little bit of that fence. Probably a little too much yellow, but can always go back over it, the brown. All right, there is our fence. With this same, wipe that brown off, and with the same um, small round brush, we're gonna add some leaves to our tree. And it's really, really simple. And you can start with whatever color you want to, but we're gonna add green, red, and yellow, and orange leaves. So let's start, I'm gonna start with um, red. It's a dark color, and you're just gonna kinda dab it. in somewhat of a tree shape. Then wipe that off, add some yellow in there. Thing down here, like they've fallen. I'm gonna go back and add a little bit more yellow in here. Gonna fill it in. A little more red. All right, there is our fall tree and it is proportioned to our barn and our fence. All right, let's work on our big tree. So for your big tree leaves, you're gonna use your medium size round brush. And you're gonna do the same thing that you did with your small tree. You're gonna use the colors red, yellow, orange, and green. It doesn't matter what color you start with. And you just dab it.
there is our big tree, our little tree. Now let's add some pumpkins to our field. So with your small round brush and your orange paint, we're going to add pumpkins. Now this is that one point perspective again. So when a pumpkin is up close to the barn, what size is the pumpkin in comparison to the barn? It's really small, right? So if you were to do a little pumpkin right back here, it's going to be really small. And it's just like a set of parentheses and you fill it in. Because it's so small you really don't see it. And we'll give it a stem in just a minute. But as those pumpkins come closer to you, they get a little bigger. So by the time they're way down here, they're pretty big. Alright guys, so for some reason my phone shut off and stopped recording and I did not realize it. So you can add as many pumpkins as you want. But just remember, the ones that are back by the barn, under the tree, by the fence, they're pretty small. So paint your orange pumpkins. The ones up close to you are going to be bigger. And then go back in with just a little bit of yellow to kind of add those pumpkin lines that you see. Once you have all of your pumpkins that you want to add, you can add as many as you want. You can fill your field. You can just add a few here and there. You're going to add some stems with your dark brown. Just like so. So I hope that you are still able to paint this one point perspective. I don't understand why my phone shut off. Um, check back. I've got a couple more coming up and planned. Happy painting. Bye guys.